I know there are some people who are not happy with the latest update to Majisk. Some are upset with the removal of the Majisk Hide feature, while others felt let down when it was confirmed the original Majisk module repository was being removed from the app. Now today I want to tell you about Fox's Majisk module manager project. It's a community-driven Majisk module repository managed by the community developer Fox2Code, and it allows users to continue searching for Majisk modules instead of having to install them manually from storage. For those who may be a bit behind the news, the developer of the Majisk application recently got a job at Google and that has resulted in some changes being made to his root solution application. One of those big changes with version 24 of Majisk was the removal of the official Majisk module repository. Not only does the Majisk developer want to stop moderating the repository, but he also needs it to be removed from the app since it was no longer getting updated. Now we still have the ability to manually install Majisk and Zygisk modules directly from storage. But if you're on the latest version of Majisk, then you'll notice that the repository is no longer included. So now a community developer going by the name of Fox2Code has recently, recently launched what they are calling Fox's Majisk Module Manager. Now this is an application that attempts to replace the Majisk module repository that has been used for so many years. Now to be clear, this is not from the original developer of Majisk. This is a community project from a developer who is trying to fill a spot left behind from the latest Majisk app update. You can see the minimum requirements here. Fox's Majisk Module Manager requires your, de your device to be running at least Android 5.0 or higher, even though Android 6 is recommended. And it requires your device be running Majisk version 19 or higher. And again, version 21.2 or higher is recommended. And naturally, because you're going to be searching through an online repository, you're going to need an internet connection as well. As of right now, this application is currently using two different repositories for its modules. The first repo here is the one Fox2Code has started and plans to maintain. It's said to be less restrictive than the original, and it's currently baked into the application right now. And Fox's Majisk Module Manager is also supporting the original repository as well. Now there is a downside to supporting this module, such as the repository not getting updated modules or updates to existing modules, and the fact that it could be shut down at any moment. But it's a great way to include all of the supported modules that the community has been using for so long. So once you have downloaded the APK for this Majisk module manager, which I'll be including in the video description below so you can download it and install it to your Android device. Once it has been sideloaded and installed, we can go ahead and open it up and our first Launch is going to request root access from Majisk. And once that's done, you're gonna see the application start to load in that mod, uh, repository. Once it's done, you can manually scroll through the list right here if you wanted to. Or we can tap the search box right here and actually do a search for specific modules in either of the repositories that are currently supported. You can see which repository these modules are from. 
and we can access the information directly from the list like we normally would. When you are ready to install one of these modules, we're going to tap the download button right there. It's going to download and install. We have a lot of logs here that we can go through, but we can also just open up our Magisk app and make sure that the module has been installed properly. Naturally, we still need to reboot the device in order for these modules to take effect. But you can see we can go from the Magisk module manager directly into the Magisk app so that we can see the Magisk modules installed properly. We can also dive into the settings right here at the top right. So we can manually change the theme to be either a light or a dark theme. We can force English language, force dark mode in a terminal, enable lockdown mode. We can choose to wrap the text instead of putting it all on the same line whenever we install a module. And we can choose to show incompatible modules if we want. This feature is not enabled by default and you generally want to keep this disabled but in specific situations you can toggle this to show incompatible modules as well. And we also have a list of our repositories that are currently being used and we can tap into them to go directly to the GitHub page. So that's an overview of Fox's Magisk Module Manager application. This is a new project that's been worked on since October of last year. It's the type of work that the Magisk developer knew would spring up with the announcement of the repository changes, and it could become the de facto method for finding and installing Magisk modules in the future.